This day, 31 years ago, the first episode of Reading Rainbow aired, helping countless children, myself included, find joy in books. And now LeVar is back and hoping to inspire today's youth as well. <laughs> <laughs> well they stopped the show in October of 2006. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, well, we stopped original production in 2006. It remained in the Ready to Learn lineup until 2009. And then in 2009, there was just, uh, you know, there was no money in the coffers uh, due to No Child Left Behind for encouraging a love of reading. It was mm. all about focusing on teaching kids how to read. And unfortunately, you know, in a, in a perfect world, we really support both. Yeah. Um, but, you know, as well as I do, this world isn't perfect, Mark. In indeed it's not. And so the choice had to be made. And, and, uh, but you know what? That became an opportunity for my business partner, Mark Wolf, and I to secure the rights to the brand and really bring it into the modern era with the Reading Rainbow app that we launched two years ago. Which is what I like because one of the challenges of reading now is that kids read differently. Yeah, they do. They engage the world differently. They, Text doesn't just go left and right. It goes up and down. Absolutely. Scrolls. It's absolutely. a digital age. And, and if you want to reach kids today, you've got to be in the digital medium. Yeah. It, just like television was the technology we used back in the 80s. Right. Back in the day, that's where kids were hanging out in front of the television set. Right. So that's where we went. Yeah. And today, we really do need to be on these very engaging devices more than ever before because there's so much content out there, and it's all educational. That's the way I feel. All content is educational. Yeah. The question is, what are we teaching with it? Yeah. And that is content dependent. And what are some of your favorite memories of, of Reading Rainbow? Wow. Um, over the 25 plus years we were in production, um, I learned how to fly a plane. I learned how to scuba dive uh, for, for Reading Rainbow. We went hot air ballooning. Um, I had some fantastic adventures wow. myself, and I really, I feel that being the host of Reading Rainbow is the best gig I've ever had. Really? Oh, absolutely. I mean, for those, I mean, that's a heck of a thing. I mean, you were Kunta Kinte. Right. In, I mean, the, the most epic miniseries in the history of television. I was chief engineer of the Starship Enterprise. Hey, I was about to say, <laughs> and you were on Star Trek. And you had the cool, you had the, the fly specs. It, for me, reading Rainbow is more than just a job, you know? It's, it's, it, it's my passion. It's really, I feel like in large measure, it's, it's what I was meant to do yeah. with my life. Wow. Did you know going, did you have a calling to do this and then you decided to be a part of the show or did the show... Here's the story. I had done Roots, right? Yeah. And, and saw the, the sheer power of the medium of television, right? I watched a nation become transformed in eight consecutive nights of TV. So I knew that television could be very powerful for doing more than simply entertaining. Yeah. So when the idea was pitched to me, let's use this very powerful medium to go to the point of purchase where kids are hanging out, Right? Yeah. Especially in the summertime in front of the television and steer them back in the direction of the written word. I was like, yes, yeah. I'm in. That makes so much sense. Wow. Did you have any say in that theme song? The theme, theme song was, was, was done, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that, was, that came whole, Butterfly in the Sky. Because that, that's, that's legendary, it's too. It's a huge part of, of, of the, the brand. And, and why people love it. Because it's, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. And it says what is true. Pick up a book, right? Take a look, it's in a book. You know, I can go anywhere. That was my favorite part, man. right? And I like the original, not the Shaka Khan version. Not again. the Shaka Khan version. No, I love you, Shaka, but that, yeah, all, all bad out of Shaka right? Khan. But that original the version. The Tina Fabrique version yes. is the one that really is in everybody's heart. Yeah, that's the yeah. one that's in our hearts. And that's, yeah. I mean, we go around his office and I said, LeVar Burton's coming in. Everybody started singing Reading Rainbow song. I mean, everybody. I expect singing later, y'all. Yo, it will be, in I, fact. I expect you, singing. What's happening with Goonies too? That's what everybody wants to know. What are we doing? Well, this is what I know. I'm doing my television show, The Strain, for FX in Toronto, and I'm sitting down with the network brass, and my phone rings in my pocket, and it's you calling, saying, hey, I just met with the director, and Goonies 2 is happening, so get ready to go to work. 